play after play after play. John Moran said, move the hell out the way, give me the ball. You still about that smoke? All the smoke. The face of our league going forward. Hey, no, 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 I'm the only one. I'm going to show you how I really live. Oh, no, God, on the biggest. This my main pain. This ain't my fist. Say what's pop. Yo. What you think Nike think about now? He on the car with who? When they doing what? To have three gun incidents. You're out here acting like a damn fool. Bruh, you not hard. What he's doing is objectively dangerous. We're at the crucial moment where Ja is going to be able to make a choice and go one way or the other. Ja Morant has entered into a counseling program. There is no timetable right now on when he might return. We are watching Ja Morant potentially throw his life away in front of our eyes. And I think at this point, after seeing everything that we have seen, that is not a dramatic statement anymore. It is more one I make out of fear. Fear that Ja really is about to go the route that so many former NBA stars have. The path where they are on the cusp of their lifelong dreams coming true. Only along the way they fumbled it all, fell off for one horrible reason, or another, and instead of rising to the level of greatness that was supposed to be inside of them, they ended up as warning stories instead. So I do really think there are real stakes here. This is incredibly serious for Ja Morant because as you are about to see, Ja is not special here. There are actually seven other cases I would say fit into a similar mold. And also, this is not the first time that Ja Morant has been involved with guns and other situations that involved violence. Here is a clip from my new channel, Coors Light, which I hope you go over to after this video. Just like everyone else, I'm afraid that chat GDP is going to take over the world one day. While using it though, I found something very strange. Can you provide me clickable links to John Morant's 2021 strip club incident? Morant and a group of friends were at the strip club when a physical altercation broke out. John issued a statement on social media. Watch this page does not exist. Why would you delete an apology? Let's go back to chat GDP. August 2019, it was reported that John Moran's car was broken into in a bag containing a handgun and some other items were stolen. What? Watch Coors Light 2, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. We are on a new grind over there. That would be incredible getting back to here though. As you just saw, Ja has a history of gun violence and now let's look at Gilbert Arenas. Perhaps one of the biggest losses of young talent we have ever seen. And yes, Gil did suffer a knee injury, but his career and legacy was forever impacted after he brought multiple guns into an NBA locker room. In case you have forgotten how wild this situation was, well, first did you forget how great Gilbert Arenas was? There have only been eight players in NBA history who have averaged at least 27 points and five assists per game between the ages of 23 and 25, and this list is littered with NBA Hall of Famers, as well as Gilbert Arenas. In 2006, Gil would average 29.3 points per game, but we don't really talk about his career anymore, do we? We really talk about this. As teammate Karan Butler remembers, it began over a dispute on the team plane after Arenas pocketed $1,100 Crittenton felt he owed him after a card game. Antoine Jameson had to restrain the two, though they continued to argue until the plane landed. I'll see your ass at practice and you know what I do. What the f you mean you know what I do? I play with guns. Well. I play with guns too. That exchange definitely sounded a lot more violent in real life, and the two were not kidding. According to Butler, Arena showed up to practice two days later with four guns, which he was displaying for everyone to see. This led to Gil saying, hey mother come pick one. I'm going to shoot your ass with one of these. Then Javaris said, oh no, you don't need to shoot me with one of those. And then turned around, pulled out a gun already loaded and said, I've got one right here. At that point, the other players in the locker room, other than Butler, fled. Coach Flip Saunders locked himself in his office. And apparently Karan Butler talked Javaris Crittenton out of shooting at Gilbert Arenas. By the way, guys, I am on the grind to 2 million subs here. So if you are enjoying this video, it would be awesome if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications. Now back to the video. We would like to forget these incidents. We'd like to forget that these types of things that never happen. We'd like to pretend that every single athlete we watch is doing at least the legal thing. Because when it comes to his last three seasons in the NBA, John Morant has been nothing short of spectacular. He is just one of four players to ever average at least 24 points and seven assists a game between the ages of 21 and 23. He has proven as a young point guard in this league, he can carry a city, he can carry a franchise on his back. It was 
expected come this year's playoffs that Ja was going to have the chance to step up and prove himself among the game's greats. But then came all of this. And I do want to say yes, a lot of the things that have been publicized have been due to a snowball effect on Ja Morant's character. That is for sure. But the ultimate message here is that Ja is going down a pretty seriously bad path. One that is concerning because many NBA stars have walked it before and they've walked away from it flat broke with a lot of other problems in a lot of other cases. Not everybody is Gilbert Arenas. And you know it is very bad for Ja when NBA legends themselves are making public statements about this. And looking at a Gil vs. Ja comparison, you can see that the two are actually quite similar, but here the story is is somewhat the same, except Ja Morant is definitely a brighter young superstar than Gilbert Arenas ever was. Yes, Gilbert Arenas did fall off, but nobody was saying we were watching a Hall of Famer fall off. Perhaps he would have gotten there. However, as it stands right now, Ja is certainly on that path to pure greatness. But looking at this list of seven other names, seven to all, in one way or another, started as NBA All-Stars, but ended up messing up their careers. We all know Latrell Sprewell choked his coach. But there are plenty of names on this list. Michael Ray Richardson, Mark Aguar, Steve Francis, Gilbert Arenas, Derek Coleman, Stefan Marbury. Each of these players was once a young all-star with the entire world in front of them, and then they threw it all away, and we see what happens after. Normally, a lot, a lot of regret. And the key problem with all these problem-filled players was that they did not learn from their mistakes. They did not fall and then grow. They continued to do things their own way, and it only got worse. Let's take a look at the case of Stefan Marbury. Here, Stefan Marbury is literally eating Vaseline, which isn't even funny. It's really horrible to see. He obviously was having issues at this point, but how did he get here? Well, you've got to imagine the mental stress of being a once bright superstar in the NBA who ended up falling off had something to do with this. Here's what Stefan Marbury did in his career, though. To begin with, he was once with Kevin Garnett, and the two were a superstar duo that could have dominated for at least 10 years. Instead, Stefan Marbury would selfishly decide that he wanted his own team. He could not share a team with Kevin Garnett at all. And KG would say, Steph is going to forever have to live in that. He f up all of our championship dreams. But I get it. If I'm being honest, every kid wants to be able to have his own team or be able to say he had his own team. Stefan would get his own team with the Nets and then he would move on to the Suns where he was accused of quitting on the Suns during the playoffs. He would close out the final two losses of that season shooting five for 18 and then five for 19. He would then continue on to the Knicks where he would fight with coach Larry Brown and ultimately off court drama ruined him. At one point in time, Stefan Marbury versus Steve Francis was the the point guard discussion we were having. Then due to off-court issues, somehow both of those players are practically forgotten in NBA history. That is also what's at stake here. As we continue to see this troubling news come out, and we are at least hearing that Ja is going to some form of treatment center for this, but to be honest, I'm interested in what these types of conversations he's having there are. Because as I hope you watch In Core's Light, Ja's had a history with guns. This lifestyle is nothing new. So Ja ultimately has to change a lot about his everyday life. It looks like he would have to cut out a lot of his influences, a lot of his friends, a lot of his potentially family even. That's going to be quite a treatment center that can encompass all of that. Ultimately, at the end of this, of course, I just want to see John Morant succeed. I just want him to be back on the court. I hope that everything's okay with him. He is a very young player. This is an easy learning moment. We all go through learning moments in our lives. Hopefully, John rebounds strong. With that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Also, of course, I really hope you enjoyed Core's Light. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.